I think the main reason why we continue to see as many injuries as we do in this country is because we fundamentally think of injuries differently than we do about other public health problems. If we focus on the cause of injury, which is energy transfer, we can prevent an injury from occurring even though the injury event occurs. So you can have a fall, for example, but if you land on a cushioning surface, if the energy transfer is low enough because of the cushioning surface, the fall can occur without the injury occurring. A great example would be falls on the playground. For example, this type of playground surfacing is designed to cushion a fall. In the case of a playground injury, the child doesn't have to know this surface has been designed based on the height of the equipment to limit the energy transfer at levels that won't exceed their tissue tolerances. It's simply there to protect them when the fall occurs, when the threat occurs. Kids will challenge themselves. We want them to. That's how they're going to learn and develop and build their skills. But when they fail, when they fall, they shouldn't pay the price of a broken bone or a traumatic brain injury. If they land on something like this, they'll be automatically protected. That's the way to prevent injury.